Hi, I'm Pat Gunston from Allflex. Today I'd like to talk to you about an application we've written uh, for Apple devices. Uh, it's designed to talk to the green RS420 stick reader. A unique feature of this reader is that it has an Apple iChip built into the circuitry and that's a prerequisite for talking to Apple devices. The app has a range of features. You can scan RFID numbers directly into the app as you scan the stock using the live scan function. Alternatively, you can scan the stock using the reader on its own and then do a session transfer to get the data from the reader to the app at a time that suits you. After you've received the numbers into the app, either by doing the live scan or session transfer functions, you can send the data immediately to the NLIS database if you have phone reception or you can send it later. Alternatively, you can choose not to send the data to the NLIS database at all and simply send the file to an email address, perhaps for your own management purposes. During the initial setup of the app, the NLIS username and password are added. You can also add two email addresses that will receive CSV files detailing the scanning. PIC codes can also be added for the properties you use for regular transfers. An added feature is that a description can be added beside the PIC code for easier recognition. Let's get started and have a look at the app in detail. Select Australia Setup NLIS. Enter your NLIS username and password. Add an email address to which you would like a CSV file sent that contains the transfer details. And if you wish, add a second email. This allows other people to receive the CSV file as well, such as the secretary, etc. Leave the production button highlighted as it selects the live NLIS database. Staging is only used by Allflex staff to demonstrate the app and requires a specific login and a demo tag. Add PIC codes for the properties you wish to store in the app that you may regularly trade with. As mentioned earlier, we've tried to make this easier by adding a description to allow for easier recognition of PIC codes. You can store hundreds of PICs in this list. You can also add more PICs later using the setup key from the main screen, or you can delete from this list by swiping sideways and selecting delete. Exit the setup screen by pressing the continue button and you'll now see the main screen. From the main screen, let's go into managing tags. Managing tags essentially means getting tags from the reader into the application. And there's two broad ways that we have allowed for this to happen. The first way is through a button called live scan. And under that process, we connect to the reader as we're scanning uh, cattle and the numbers come in uh, into the application as we scan. The second way is through a process called a session transfer and under that scenario essentially what we do is we go and scan the cattle without the uh, phone or the app uh, operating. Um, we record the cattle into a session and then we transfer a session or multiple sessions to the reader at a later stage. Let's discuss the live scan process. Refer to the separate video explaining how to connect the RS420 to the Apple device via Bluetooth. Once you've connected and pressed the live scan key, the app will ask you if you wish to continue with the current session. Add a new session if required. Once the Bluetooth is connected and you're in the live scan screen, the RFID numbers will come into the screen as you scan the stock. You can delete individual animals by swiping and selecting the delete button. You can also add comments attached to individual animals by entering the text into the field provided and then pressing the finished button. To conclude live scanning, press the finish button then the RS420 button to return to the main screen. The other way to get numbers into the app is to use the session transfer button. Click on the manage tags click download sessions, select the session required, click the download session button and then click on the RS420 button to return to the main screen. 
Once we've got the tag information into the application, the next key function of the software is to handle movements. Movements will either allow us to transfer data to the NLIS database or we can send it directly to an email simply for management purposes. From the main screen, press the Movements button. Select the required session. Select all the numbers within the session by clicking on the Select button. Individual animals can be removed by pressing on the number. Click the Continue button to proceed to transfer the selected animals. In the Movements screen, enter the From Pick and To Pick information. You can do this by pressing the Look Up button to select picks that have been stored in the app or you can key pick details in using the keyboard. Select the date and enter the NVD number. If you don't wish to send data to the NLIS and just send the CSV file by email, for management purposes you can use the same pick twice. If you have phone reception, press the Send to NLIS Now button to send the information to the database. A message will be displayed to indicate the transfer has been successful. After you click OK on the message, the app will create an email. A CSV file is attached which contains all the details about the transaction. Press the Send button to transmit the email to the two addresses recorded in the setup page of the app. After pressing the send button, a message is displayed explaining that the email has been sent successfully. If you don't wish to send the data to the NLIS database, but do wish to send the data to an email address, follow the normal steps. Enter the PIC codes. You can use the same PIC code twice and a dummy NVD if you like. Select the option Send by Email Only. You'll then get a message explaining that the data is not being sent to the database. Click yes and then send to send the email. If you don't have mobile reception or need the reader and phone to go in different locations, you can save a file and send it later. Follow the normal steps. Enter the PIC data, NVD and so on. And then choose the option to save and send later. At a time that suits you and when you've got mobile reception, press the send transaction and then send to NLIS. The file will be sent to the database and the email will be generated as normal. For technical assistance in Australia, please call 1300 138 247. In New Zealand, dial 06 356 7199. The reader firmware should be version 2 or later.